Hello guys, good morning. In this video, we are going to review Huawei Cloud Services. Yeah, if you didn't know that, Huawei provide cloud services just like AWS, GCP, and Microsoft. Let's see. First, let's see what the experts say. Let's go first to Gartner, okay? So as you can see, this is the square of Gartner. So in that square, we will find uh, who is the, the best, okay? So as you can see, we have the leaders. The leaders, everybody know, is AWS, Microsoft, and GCP. So in Challenger, we, we, we don't have any challengers here, but as you can see, Huawei Cloud is here as a niche player. So that means he is, he is on a good standing, right? So uh, this last square is for the last year, 2022 so uh maybe you can see a Huawei on the challenger this year okay now we can switch to the directly to gardner.com so on that on gardner.com we can see uh we can see the reviews so what people say about Huawei so let's see uh most helpful uh Huawei cloud reviews for example those guys you say uh good integration and cloud backups with uh, both public and distributed cloud uh, system okay so that is good uh, customer focus and offering the best value that is also good let's see easy integration so we switched to huawei cloud due to cost as this option was more cost effective than our previous option <laughs> what was the last previous option um, all new capabilities at at this cost okay professional cloud services at low cost the same okay that's good um uh, easy setup and manage cloud solution okay Huawei uh Huawei cloud has a good global access latency and performance experience that is also good okay everybody need a uh, cloud uh, performance application performance that is good uh, overall we feel the cloud service which Huawei provides are worth buying okay with one go for it <laughs> okay so that's good so now let's switch to to the huawei uh cloud uh, cloud portal so we are uh, we have an account here we log into the huawei we log into the portal and we'll see what the portal look like okay so after creating the root account we are going to log into the huawei cloud uh with the im user so to log into the huawei cloud we go to Huawei, Huawei cloud.com we click on login and we go on IEM user login so first we have to put the tenant name okay after that we have to put the IEM user uh, username or the email and after that the password okay so let's go okay after putting the all the information to login we click on login okay and what man <laughs> okay so we have the console okay so that's mean uh, we are in let's click on console to switch to the web console of the of the cloud okay they say that they have a new console home we're not going to use that new console home let's click on that and close it okay as you can see i already create things here uh some services so that's mean i know huawei cloud <laughs> okay so but uh let's see first uh the region that they have okay so they have china okay so that is uh okay so they are chinese so they have a lot of china region um after that they have bangkok singapore jakarta uh, Johannesburg they have Sao Paulo just like AWS have and also they have uh, Santiago so that means Chile okay so that is a good but they don't have any region in the US right they don't have in Canada they don't have in the US maybe it's because they are not doing they are not doing business with the with the with the gringos <laughs> okay so that's uh, that's good uh, first, let's switch uh, to, for example, uh, Mexico to see what they have here. Um, okay, so we switch to Mexico. Let's close this uh, because I have some some resources uh, actually in the in. 
so that is the menu so if we click on that uh, on that uh, menu so we see ECS uh, elastic cloud server that is ECS okay so they have they have uh, the compute so if when we click here we have uh, the service list when we click here we have the service list and on service list we have compute storage networking um, databases security compliance networking so let's switch let's uh, let's slide down uh, security application management and governance we have they have migration tools they have migration tools they have uh, enterprise intelligence what is that actually um they have media services for life iot services cloud communication containers oh that's good mm. well actually this is now i understand why they are a niche player so they have uh, all the services um let's see for example ecs so they call that ecs so i talk to a huawei guy he say ecs all the time so let's click on uh, elastic cloud services to see elastic cloud server to see what they have oh it's okay so this is the portal for the elastic cloud server so if i want to, to buy a dc2 or a, <laughs> i say ec2 is for aws so an ecs so we can click here so we choose the region say okay billing mode paper use port price we can also ask for a reserve instance okay so let's switch down az okay so if we have a uh, multiple az we can choose what az do we need uh we need our ecs to launch we can also choose random so it will choose by random uh, specification we have the last uh, generation of the servers we can choose all generation okay so we can also choose also choose um how much uh, cpus that we need how much ram that we need for example if we need like one cpu and we need one gig uh is a general compute oh uh, let's see if we close that uh, all generation last generation they have okay 64 this is the iris cpu um how much ram okay that's pretty good uh, okay so we can choose a flavor and after that images let's see uh, they have public images uh, okay so they have Huawei cloud okay they have uh, an operating system that they build by themselves okay um, CentOS Ubuntu what is that I don't know it looks like the same OS but I don't know that OS actually uh, Debian, OpenSUSE, okay, Fedora, okay, Alma, Rocky, Core, okay, that's good, that's good. Or uh, for example, if we choose um, CentOS, okay, or this is all the version. And after that, they have, we have private. So the private is the one that we have, like, if we create, for example, if we migrate from uh, a VMware, like on-premise, we can uh, we can upload our private uh, our private image to the EBS or not EBS to the OBS and after that uh, we can have uh, the object storage from the object storage we can we can have our private images here the marketplace okay marketplace we can choose what kind of uh, we can go and buy one image for example uh, let's say uh, if we need a firewall like a Palo Alto or I don't know if Palo Alto is making deal with them uh, but uh, let's say that if we need a firewall for our security on cloud, maybe we can go there and choose uh, one of those one of those uh, solution. Maybe we can see SAP Anna. Okay, the, they have all those things here. Sues for SAP. Okay, is it okay? Okay, okay. So that's good. Um, after that, uh, this is the system. This, for example, the this just just like uh, AWS EBS volume they have a lot of flavor so they have I I input and output I IO ultra I IO they have general purpose okay so let's see we have general purpose here and they have uh, they put by default the EOPS for you 
but let's see if we have um, if we add a data disk we have okay so that is a pretty high IOPS okay so just like AWS they start you with 3000 IOPS for the general purpose okay so if we switch if we increase the the the, the volume size it increased the the IOPS so that is good okay and after that you can go and create your network so okay so after that we have this is just like uh, I don't know the the web console just like it's just like AWS at the end um, I don't want to say they copy <laughs> but you know those Chinese guys they are good for that um, actually uh, I like that uh, storage okay function graph function graph just sounds like serverless let's click on that mm, okay so this is uh this is their services for uh, for serverless uh they call it function graph so you can create your function here uh let's see we have the version we have the region we put the name agency what is that an agency okay okay and after that you choose the one time so you have uh, the c sharp you have go you have java node.js application php python okay that is good that is the serverless so there are serverless services called function graph just like serverless lambda AWS lambda okay that's good um okay guys so i'm not going to review everything that they have because it's a lot of services that they have as you can see um one thing uh i think you guys can go and play uh create an account and play with the services that they have for free maybe just like aws you have a free tier uh services free tier uh um, ec2 ecs that they have here uh, you, they, they have a relational database, ODS services, they have auto scaling, everything that you can find on the other leaders, you will find them here also. Okay, so I think uh, this is all in this video for today. So that was a review of Huawei Cloud Services. So uh, maybe next in the next video, I will maybe I will uh, do a lab where I will create the ECS, create relational database, uh, create a Lambda function, not Lambda, oh, sorry, create uh, a function graph, okay, there are serverless services that they have, um, create auto scaling, everything, and share with you guys, okay? So I hope you like this video, don't forget to subscribe now, thank you so much.